Hey, this is Randy, and uh, before I start our daily nugget, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm gonna try to shoot to be posting these at six o'clock every every afternoon, so six p.m. That's what I'm gonna be shooting for. So those of y'all that are looking forward to these little nuggets, uh, I love them, and I've I've I love being you know being able to do these little Bible studies with y'all every day. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that and share that with y'all. So. In Jonah chapter 1, verse 17, it says, Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up the Jonah. And Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. To give context to this, uh, just like how we have prejudice in America, we have, uh, we've had whites that were, uh, and not just you know racist against black people, but we've even had whites and blacks that were racist against uh, and had prejudice towards different, uh, different people from different nations that would come uh, that would come to America, but it wasn't what I'm letting y'all know is it's not just limited to America. Prejudice has been going on and, uh, you know, people that are of a certain race or a certain nationality have been prejudiced against others for, uh, for centuries. It's not been something, it's not new. It's not like, oh, this is just now happening. No, it's been something that's been going on for as long as humans have been on this earth. Uh, and that's what was going on actually at this time was God's telling Jonah, hey, go to Nineveh. But because he's a Jew, he sees himself as above them. Uh, he sees Nineveh as basically dirty and he doesn't want to go and preach to them. That's why he's so harsh with uh, with his wording uh, and everything that he says. That's why he, I really believe that he didn't even, uh, he didn't even really want to waste in his in mind any any words. He speaks eight words and then that's what ends up leading to revival. But the thing about it is it didn't matter, you know, how how Jonah was being, whether Jonah wanted to uh, give the word or whether he wanted, wouldn't want to give the word. God chose by the foolishness of preaching to save them that belief. So it didn't matter the amount of words that he preached. It just mattered that he preached and God used that to be able to save Nineveh. Uh, but in this, when it says God prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Well, in Matthew twelve forty, because you can say, as I always wondered why people thought it was a whale and why people assumed that it was a whale if it said it was a great fish. And then I've even had people say, hey, it wasn't a whale. It said it was a great fish. You know, ones that want to be, you know, astute, you know, uh, little, you know, oh, well, actually those ones. Well, in Matthew twelve forty, this one's for you guys. For as Jonas, which is Jonah, this was just translated from Greek to English. That's why it says Jonas. Uh, for as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Well, there you go, you 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 astute scholars. Um, Jesus said it was a whale, uh, and that's and whether you say, oh well, a whale can't, can't swallow a human. A whale physically is not able to. What's physically impossible for God? It said God prepared a fish. It said that God prepared the whale to swallow Jonah. So it doesn't matter if it was what uh, uh if it's physically able to or not it says that god allowed it to and also if that were to happen well why would jonah be alive if he was swallowed by a great fish how how does that how does that comprehend how jonas is able to uh to stay alive in this whole thing and have this come to jesus meeting and within the three days that he's inside of this fish it's all that matters is hey this is this, when god does it it doesn't obey the laws of nature because you know why? Because he created the laws of nature. He can break them if he chooses to, because he's God, he does what he wants. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to bring that to you again. The whole purpose of these is we have to take things in their context. We have to take things, uh, the, the word of God doesn't contradict itself. You would have, you know, some people that say, oh, well, it said it was a great fish here. And then it said it was a, uh, then it said it was a whale here. Well, you know, this is how, this is really how I think about it. When it's uh, just because it says it's a great fish and then it says it's a whale and you're like, oh, well, well, technically isn't a fish or whatever. The thing about it is there's some things in the Bible that aren't very specific and aren't very detailed. And then later on, they give more detail. And that's, that's, that's just what happens. So you just, the word of God spe- uh, means what it says and uh, says what it means. So and ne- uh, any time that someone says, oh, well, the Bible is incorrect, the Bible isn't this, or Bible isn't that, they're not interpreting it. They're not interpreting it right and they're taking it out of context. So just wanted to share that with you. Make sure you take it in the context. Be blessed in Jesus' name.